Well, I have an update video for you guys yet again. This is practically me trying to get all my plans out there so that it wouldn't be a discombobulated mess like it was last year. Because last year, yeah, it was discombobulated. I mean, I had to work hard. There was a lot of system failure on my end. Yeah, and still having trouble trying to record Dead or Alive. When it comes down to it, I may have to get something that can record Xbox One and any other next-gen console that I may end up receiving. And I can't really rely on my uh, capture card there because that does not capture HD capture. So, yeah. I'm going to have to actually get... Uh, brand new capture card for any uh, games on Xbox One that I have and on top of that if I do won't have to live stream it's gonna be a problem because there are certain games that the DRM will not allow to show any scenes even on Twitch so that is basically gonna be the reason why I'm gonna have to find some new equipment for any next-gen consoles that I can't record with the current capture card that I have so that's what I'm working on but for what I am going to do since Mega Man X6 has been completed I'm gonna get the ones that are obviously gonna be done out of the way first off Dynasty Warriors 2 will happen next week that will happen next week I have to get things started and prepared for that got to get some recordings done and also have to uh, do some cleaning of my computer to try to make some space for that secondly something that will happen in the holidays next week in, the ne in this year actually sorry not next year not ne okay let me calm down here something that's going to be happening within the holidays of this year which is around mid-november all the way till the end of december if not january i'm gonna have both mega man x3 and mega man x7 done at the end of this year so that i'll have out the way the only reason why i didn't get x6 done and uploaded because i got sick at new year's yeah after working hard on my job, I ended up catching a cold, and that put me out of action for five days, and I got back into it after I started feeling better, and now I am finished with that playthrough, so I will get started working on Dynasty Warriors, so I didn't really have much to do, and I have to basically uh, shift around all of my data because I also ended up buying a new game. Now, something I wanted to try to do during the year of 2017 was to try to start on the Hyperdimension Neptunia series. See, here's the thing. I haven't beaten all the games yet. And on top of that, they may have some, you know, issues with recording those things like I'm recording them via Muvave on my screen. They may have some issues as far as they may try to kill my computer's performance if that's the case. So I want to try to see if I can record them. If not, I'll have to probably get a PS Vita for the three Rebirth games and a PS4 for everything else. <clears throat> now then, but I do know Dynasty Warriors 2 will be happening this year month now as far as for all the other projects i promised uh let's see v infinito yes i will have to do that this year it's gonna take me a while because it's gonna have a lot of practice but i will have to do that this year it'll probably be in spring as will the uh pit of 100 trials but the difference is with v infinito and the pit of 100 trials at least v infinito you can save every 10 clo every 20 cloisters so that is not going to be a problem as far as for the saving part it's actually showing off the trip 
Which, to be perfectly honest with you, with V Infinito, the only thing I probably need to show on the way down to Cloister uh, 80 is the new layouts between Cloister 60 and 80, and also the enemies that happen to appear. That's it, and, and that's also the same thing between Cloister 80 to 99. Same thing with uh, Paper Mario, because the only thing I need to show off of that is uh, level 51 all the way down to fighting Bone Tail. And that's going to take some practice, so again, I'm going to work on those two things in the spring. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, yes. Yes, one of the bigger projects that I'm working on. Uh, Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, that one's going to be a doozy because of the fact that it's three disc. And... It is basically three discs of content and cutscenes. So how I'm going to handle that is I'll probably show off one enemy that is important, show off the bosses, not talk through the cutscenes. But more importantly, after the first enemy that appears that I haven't shown off, I'll cut that to try to reduce the number of parts. I'll show off as much as I can, but the seat hunts, I'm not doing. Unfortunately, I have not beaten all of them, and I would have to re-beat them all again, and I forgot how to do that because I haven't played 13 in a while. That will be started in the summer. Huh, <sighs> so, anything else that I need to think of? Oh yes, Mega Man 4. That is actually going to happen after Dynasty Warriors 2. Any other things? There was one other project, but that's a secret project, and that also depends on whether, again, my screen capture system works. And I won't let you in on that until... Yeah, well, actually, I still gotta work on that, so it really is gonna be under wraps, but there is something else I wanna point out, too. During the year, this is going to be the year where I actually have to put my second channel to good use. You see, it's a channel that, well, when during the time that Google Plus was dominating three-fourths of YouTube, that Google Plus not only made a Google Plus account, but also made a YouTube channel from the Google Plus account. So I was going to put that Google Plus channel to good use and that is where all of my reviews is going to be coming. Yeah, I'm going to start doing reviews. So if I can't get any of the games that I'm hyping you guys up for, they're most likely going to be reviewed. It's going to probably be old games and new games. And also, if I can get my hands on a capture card that I can record an Xbox, I mean an Xbox uh, One, say like uh, Elgato or there was another capture card that's just as good that costs like $76. If I can get my hands on those, I will start either A, getting some gameplay from Xbox 360 and Xbox One games, because of course 360 games are on the Xbox One, or if I get a PlayStation 4, which I'm also looking into investing too, I can actually get um, playthroughs of that. Or if I finally get a PS3, which obviously is out of date, but hey, at least I'll be able to play some stuff. If I can get that, then I can have some of the stuff that I also promised too. But, uh, the only thing that I'm working on right now is the stuff I can produce. And I can get some reviews started. I mean, I'll have a different format, I'll explain how the format works. As far as the trailer is concerned for that second channel so that's gonna basically be where all my reviews stuff it will go to and any other forms of entertainment I'm gonna put up here well uh, I guess I could keep working on like moments of failure that I when I play games because I did have like a moment in Final Fantasy 15 where Ignis was completely gone from the game, and we were riding all the way to Lestalem, and Ignis just completely disappeared, and all of a sudden, poof, he shows up. 
Yeah. I was hoping to play that game for the channel, too. But again, until I get an actual capture card, the only thing I have to deal with is that DRM. And that DRM will probably region lock some of the scenes and some of the gameplay. Which is probably the reason why I did not finish Dead or Alive, because for some reason, Koei region locked the damn story mode, and I wasn't able to do it on Twitch. So until I, I, and I'm not able to do it on Xbox 360, because once you get last round for the Xbox One, the 360 for some reason locks itself. But, again, I have plans, and I've gotten things situated, and I've got my thing, and got some things scheduled. So, if there are any other things in between the games I mentioned that I am planning on playing, and of course, Final Fantasy XIII is going to be a beast in and of itself. I will play some games in between there to keep things interesting. And again, I'm also going to be doing reviews. It's going to be a busy thing between this and actually doing my two jobs that I'm working. And I will try to squeeze all that in. Because, after all, I'm only doing this as a hobby. That's why I have two jobs, so that I can maintain the standard of living that I have and at least get the equipment that I need. So, thank you guys for putting up with me, and if you guys feel that I need to do something about my quality, yeah, I'm going to fix that too. I mean, I need to try to be a little bit more uh, on point and more assertive, and I also feel that if I do get my hands on a PS4, and also, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, the very first playthrough I have will probably be redone because I did three-fourths of that playthrough. Not only... Oh, sorry about that. Something... It was, uh, it, it was stuff coming out of my mouth. My bad. I apologize for that. I was going to redo Final Fantasy XII because that playthrough was mostly camcorder and also mostly the very first capture card I had, which was on the Fritz. But, nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, I have my plan set, and I'll let you guys know if I'm going to add any extra playthroughs throughout the entirety of this year. Try to be a little bit more uh, communicative with everybody, because I wasn't able to do that, and that's because, again, I was really busy with work. So, with that said... See you guys next time. This is Arvman985, and I hope this year will be much better, and hopefully no hiatuses this time, than what it was last year. See you guys, and actually the year before that too. See you guys next time.